Here's our last example on dividing a decimal by another decimal. Again, we can't do anything to make these more complicated. We can just give you bigger numbers. And that's all that's happening here. 2.224 divided by 0 0.007, or 7 thousandths. Think about it for a second. What do we have to do with the decimals? Is this decimal OK? Yes, it would be, but this decimal is not. We have to have a whole number outside. To get rid of that, or to, sorry, to make a whole number happen, we want to shift our decimal over to here. That's one, two, three steps to the right. If we do that, we must also shift this one, one, two, three steps to the right. So our new and improved division is seven into 2,000. 224. Our decimal's right here, but since it's a whole number, I didn't feel the need to write it, and you shouldn't either. So, on to the division. 7 into 2, not happening. 7 into 22, 3 times. 3 times 7 is 21. 22 minus 21 is 1. Drop down another digit. Start again. 7 into 12 goes once. 1 times 7 is 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. Drop down another digit. Start again. 7 into 54 goes 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. 54 minus 49 is 5. Drop down another digit. Hmm. Now here, they weren't clear on how far they expected us to go with this. This one didn't come out as pretty as the others with no remainder. If you needed to keep going, you can because there's an unlimited supply of zeros over here. You can drop down a zero if you need to and keep on, keep right on going. 7 into 50 goes 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. 50 minus 49 is 1. Drop down to 0. You can keep doing this as long as you need to. Generally, we will tell you, calculate your answer to two decimal places or to the nearest tenth or something like that, and that'll give you an idea when you can stop. If not, then it's up to you. If it were a real life question, you'd know how precise this answer needed to be. But you can keep going as long as you want to because there's an unlimited supply of zeros off here to the right.